My channel is dead. And now so am I! <laughs> Mortality is hilarious! Boo! I'm wearing a sheet! I guess it's Halloween here soon, hopefully. Uh, it, this would be really awkward if it didn't come out on Halloween. If this is late, then I'm sorry. I'm a little ghosty box. In all honesty, all my friends were making Halloween skins and I felt left out, so I made myself one. I'm a ghost. Look at that, I'm adorable. I'm a trend from like a year ago. No time for all that. In a turn of events, I tried something new and did some off-camera mining because I was in desperate need of iron and coal and died multiple times to get this. Wait your turn! I definitely need a different fuel source, so I think I might actually start a lava farm here soon because I had another chest also. I found dripstone in a cave a little ways away. Also, I uh, found a bunch of iron. As you can see, my armor's a little worse for wear, and I finally caved and made a helmet because I was just so sick of dying, I decided I will take any amount of protection. And yeah, I guess I should address the elephant in the room, or the sheep in this case. I found sheep! There's the village right over here. Uh, yeah, I know that that's there. I didn't realize how close it was. But there were two perfectly good sheep just wandering around over there. I had never seen them there before. I don't know if they spawned or if they wandered over themselves or what, but I just saw the opportunity and snagged them without apology. So yeah, these are mine now. I deforested some azalea trees and snagged some of their leaves because I'm sick and tired of the sick and tired leaves that are piling up around here so I decided to put in a few of the more actual green leaves to pair up with the sad looking brown ones. I'll go get more of those later. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to raid the lush cave here soon anyway to get moss because I need moss carpet to hide these boys. Speaking of which, I have enough iron to make lanterns. I think I'm gonna put some put some lanterns in that bus finally. Ha ha ha. Isn't this exciting? Isn't this the best use of our iron? How many lanterns do I need? Probably three? Four? Let's do four. We're gonna splurge. Let's do four, because that's all the torches I have at the moment. Let's go finally light up the bus. We'll just put it there and there. Put some on the milk jug. I decided it's, it's a milk jug. There's no handle, but um... I didn't say it was a convenient milk jug. Ah, uh, curses. I'll just, um, that's fine. That's not gonna trigger anybody. Oh, our bus looks so much cozier now. I didn't mean for it to be nighttime, but you know, this works. Well, stuff that needs to be done today includes organizing the chests because I finally have enough to do that and it's driving me nuts. So I need to do, need to get that done. A big, big part of today that you probably already saw in the thumbnail is I need to make a mob farm. It has to be done. I have never made one before, but uh, it's happening today. I need the XP more than anything. I don't really care about the drops. I just need XP. So we're gonna go out in the ocean and a hundred blocks into the sky and build an aggressive mob farm. I should probably look around a little bit first to make sure I actually know where it's going all the way out here. Cause this way I also don't have to build up from the ocean floor. I can just build it on top of the coral here. This isn't too bad, buddy. Talk me out of this. You're so cute. Oh, and you know it. You know that you're cute. This is probably where the mob farm is gonna go. Just in the sky, somewhat close to the base, but mostly in the ocean. It's still a bit of a boat right away. I don't care. I probably should, but I don't. And there's our milk jug. All right, see, you can see our house from here. It's not that bad. I'm really just talking myself into it at this point. It's fine, honestly. The hardest part is gonna be getting all the stone for it because that's gonna take freaking forever. You know, the funny part is I need efficiency to get stone. Well, I don't need it, but it would be nice, but I don't have efficiency because I don't have levels for it and I don't want to trade with another librarian for it because that's gonna take too much time. But you know what else is gonna take time? Mining stone without efficiency. It's a cruel cycle. I don't care. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. I'm throwing fits. Let's go for a cool stack of torches, I guess. We're 60, that works. I'm gonna lose these again, aren't I? It's fine. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to do. The llama, I forgot about the llama. I need to name the llama. This llama is now part of our family. It, it needs a name. I think I got it. Where's llama friend? There he is, okay, good. Hey friend, guess what? You're part of the family now. Pretty. You have a name now. Do you want to know what it is? I think you want to know what it is. You want to know what it is? Welcome to the 
family, counter-revolutionaries. That's you! That's your name! I don't know how many of you have been following me for this long, but um, I have a habit of naming things the longest words that I can find, and I have a new list now, specifically to name my pets in Minecraft. So, this is counter-revolutionaries. Counter-revolutionaries refers to people who participate in a revolution directed toward overthrowing the government or social system established by a previous revolution. Since this guy saved me from a bunch of pillagers, I thought it was a fitting name. Welcome to the family, counter-revolutionaries. Please don't go in the water. Maybe I'll make him a house or a pen or a something later, but for now, you get a lead. Where'd you go? There you are. You haven't moved. I like the blue on you. That's a good color. Let's go this way. I might try to get some scaffolding for this build because it's, uh, it's a big one. I think I'm gonna head to the jungle and see if I can find some vines and bamboo to make some scaffolding and such. Where was it again? Did I finally take a picture of the coordinates? And when I say take a picture of the coordinates, I literally mean I take a picture on my phone, which I'm looking for now. This way? Yes? Yes, I think so. I can't see. Never mind, I found it. It's right here. <laughs> Not nearly as far away as I thought it was. <laughs> There's the pandas! Oh my goodness! I've been looking for this part of the jungle for so long! Gosh, take pictures of your coordinates, kids. Even if it's not the right coordinates, this really isn't, but it's, I still found it. Okay, but actually, take pictures of your coordinates, especially the ones to your home base. I still haven't done that, but um, it could save your life and your stuff. Not speaking from experience, because um, I definitely know where my base is. Didn't forget to reset my spawn, so I definitely didn't respawn at spawn uh, when I died in a cave and almost lost all my stuff again uh and it definitely didn't happen twice so it's fine really i'm fine i'm so tired bamboo is fun dandelion i must has Muchas gracias. Vines! I also need a ton of wood for trapdoors, so, uh, maybe give me a second. Except we're gonna go farther in, because I don't want to ruin the main landscape of this jungle. And I forgot a bed. Oh no. Wait, no! Wait, no! I'm not ready! I'm not ready! <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. Oh wait, there's a village. Right to the village. Steal a bed. I am the opposite of speedrunner strats. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry. Thank you. This is mine now. Okay, that wasn't as terrible as it could have been. Oh, you know what? I changed my mind. I want this one. I know I wear green all the time, but light blue and cyan are actually my favorite colors, so <laughs> those are the ones that I'm stealing. Back to that tree that we have chopped down. There it is. <laughs> This is for all of the people who commented that I'm fun to watch. <laughs> Are you sure? Speaking of comments though, thank you all so, so much for the encouraging comments on the first episode. As of recording this, the first episode of Junk Door has been out for about a week. And you have all been so, so supportive. I am shocked. I am gobsmacked at the amount of support that you have given me in this little endeavor. I don't know why I collected melons and I'm going into F5 for this. Thank you. Oh my goodness for all of the support. This is so cool. I'm so happy that uh, it makes all of you happy and that I'm inspiring a lot of you to make your own junk drawer world or <laughs> whatever you guys end up calling them. They can be your own thing. That's the whole point of this series is to make your own thing and make it fun and do whatever you want. I mean maybe don't blow up the entire world. That'd be a little counterproductive. For those of you who are new to the channel, hello, welcome. Thank you so much for joining in on the chaos. As some of you have noticed. I actually started playing Minecraft a little bit ago and then took a break because I wasn't sure if this is what I wanted to do, but I came back from that break really excited to make videos and I was fully, fully expecting to lose subscribers as soon as I came back. I've heard that from other content creators who have taken long breaks and they said they 
lost subscribers pretty regularly after that and I was so ready for that but the opposite happened I think this is the biggest step up in it, subscribers I've ever had and I thank you all so much for that that is so cool all of you are just so lovely in the comments as well thank you thank you thank you for the support really appreciate it and uh I don't know sappy Izzy might return for the end card thank you all you're amazing and that's all the sentiment I have left in me the cows i knew there were cows over here oh my gosh do you know how far i went and they're just right here that's pretty typical actually yeah that's yeah to be expected my throat hurts now i was looking in the wrong jungle let's go check out how much string i have for scaffolding my house is literally right there and the jungle is <sighs> how much we got oh i need to organize Jeez, i've got 34 okay awesome I've never used scaffolding before. Let's let's figure this out. How do you work? Okay. I've seen it used, and then you just yeah, it's like a ladder. Oh, oh, oh don't shift, don't shift on scaffold. Wait, how do you how do you put it on the edges then? <gasps> oh. Wait, is there a way to put it below you? I don't think there is. Oh, that's on top of me now. Interesting. So this just... Where did it go? Oh, it's the way that you're... Oh, I see. I can't imagine what this looks like from the ground. <laughs> so it depends on which way you're facing. Wait, what happens if you face straight down? Oh, okay, how do I get down? I don't remember where I started. Well, that's fun. And then I could just... <gasps> Oh, that's so fun! I found something fun to play with. Oh! Flower pots! Heck yeah, I'm decorating. You know that I'm about to put these in my bookmobile. You're done about to get decorated, son! I am in a really weird mood today. Should I put it here or here? Oh, why not? Let's just do both. Aww, oh my gosh, the fern's dying. That's so much better. Okay, I feel whole. Okay, I should probably go mine for stone now. I feel like there's something else I was supposed to do. Oh, right, organize the chest. You know what? This will be fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find some fun music. I'm gonna go organize all my, all four of my, <laughs> all four of my chests. I'm really blowing this out of proportion. It's four chests. I'm not. It's not gonna take that long. Let's go organize these chests. What's up, everybody? Editing Izzy here with another post recording life update. I've been doing a lot better. Would highly encourage yourself to get some boopable flowers. The ones I'm showing you in the video are courtesy of my lovely mother. She has been diligently growing these dahlias the past year and they're gorgeous and just so perfect. I guarantee this will boost your serotonin if you go find some sort of boopable flower. I'm demonstrating the act of booping here in the video. It's basically just a tap in like the most satisfying way and you have to do it with very specific things otherwise it won't work. It's just it's an unexplainable experience. I can't explain it to you so I'm gonna stop trying. Also now would probably be a good time to let you know that next week's video might be late. In fact I guarantee it will be because I am moving into a new office space um, aka a new bedroom and I have to paint it over the weekend so I'm not gonna have time to record or edit as much as I would like. So I hope you're okay with that. If you're not, then um, that's too bad for you. Okay, I should be done organizing my chests by now. If I'm not, uh, I'm cutting it off again because I'm done talking, so. And done. It only took, what time is it now? 20 minutes? Well, that's not bad. I added a couple more chests. I probably will need to add a couple more chests later, but for now I'm okay with what we have. So right now we have the stone chest, the wood chest, the valuables chest, the greenery chest, natural growy stuff, leftover building blocks chest. I have so much glass and the junk chest. Anything that doesn't fit into any of the other categories goes in here. So there's a lot of functional blocks and leftover tools <laughs> and my diamond pickaxe. But yeah, now everything's organized. I feel so much better better and I need some of the stuff back so I don't remember where anything is I should probably make a few iron pickaxes because now I am gonna go grab some stone I will see you once I've gathered enough stone to be happy with my life I thought of something else I can do to procrastinate hold on hello friends why don't you all have wheat there we go everybody gets food shove this in your face hello friends just go stick some food in the oven. Where's everything? I guess I can't procrastinate anymore. Let's go mine some stone. 
So I'm just gonna do this for an undetermined amount of time. I wonder how long this is gonna take. Come to think of it, why am I not just making a strip mine at this point? That, uh, might not be a bad idea. And we're here. Okay, well, now I gotta do all the things, put the ladders in and the water. Ooh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put the water bucket down. There we go. It's a strip mine. Oh yeah, I got so much of the resources I actually need from that. And now to play my favorite game. Do I have enough ladders for this? My money's on no, but I brought some extra wood just in case, and I'm fully prepared to pillar out. It's not. Oh, I was kind of sort of close. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna pillar up. That was safe. Oh, it's been a while since I've heard one of those. Gosh, that was a loud one. So I will come up with a build for this someday. Not today, but someday. Which side has the water? Oh, they're both out of render distance. Uh, I think it's this one. Just gonna, um... <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's this side. Okay, I guess right. Ah, oh, perfect. Well, that's the strip mine sorted out, whether I wanted to or not. And now I need to go collect Miranda site, because that definitely didn't give me enough. gathered as much stone as I could. There we go. Most of it's andesite. Lots of stone, which I've already smelted to get it back to smooth stone because I do not have silk touch. All the other building elements are in here. Ignore all this. This is leftover building stuff. It's mostly the stuff that I need. All I have to do is get all of this over there. As much fun as it would be to take two trips, I'm going to try something a little bit different. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. We're going to use the chest boat. I'll take all this in my inventory and we're going to put this into the, oh, the chest boat. Let's see if this works. to go that way yeah here we go so i've never made one of these before well I've, obviously i i have in my creative test world to make sure it worked but i've never made one in survival with the hopes that it will actually function so we're gonna use scaffolding for this let's do this thing Ugh, good good start good start great start okay this wasn't a problem before there we go okay hey this is great i can make this work theoretically if we're at sea level that should just take me to 163 blocks, which is exactly where I need to be. Why did I bring the boat? I didn't need to bring the boat. Up we go. Anyone flinching? I'm flinching, IRL. Okay, let's just look out. Ah, pretty. Oh, look at the shadow. <gasps> That's so cool. I'm so tall. Are we there yet? Oh, we're there. Okay. Are we at one, why 163 we are? This is where we start. So actually... Oh, no, no, no! Okay, let's just, um, gotta remember how I did this before. Huh, is this gonna boot me off the edge? Please don't boot me off the edge. Oh, we were pretty dang close, okay! I am not scared of heights, however, they make me a little nervous, even though this isn't real. This is still slightly terrifying to me. Do I have enough dirt for this? I don't think I have enough dirt for this. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to trim this in polished andesite. I forgot. Okay, so some of this dirt is gonna fly off the edges. Ah, I'm so sorry if you're scared of heights. All the polished andesite. At least a stack. But this is what we're gonna start with. That. Okay, good. And then we'll have things here and here. Chests down, the hoppers. Okay, and then carpet to make sure none of our XP falls in. And we're gonna start with the slabbage all the way up to the top. Really starting to feel that not creative mode. I'm so glad I decided to build such a big platform around this so that if I fall, I definitely die. Let's just use all of this for now. So from here, the first block we place, which would be the hoppers, we need to go up 22 blocks, right? Ow. No, not including the hoppers. Check my tutorial. 
I would love to tell you which tutorial it is that I used for this, but it's kind of a conglomeration of a few. It's very unclear. I'm pretty sure it's from above the hoppers, though. Four, five, six, seven. Aw, the sun's coming up. Oh, that's so pretty. Seven? Yeah, seven. Eight. Also, I would love to take credit for this slab design. I mean, I can take credit for the stone, that was my idea. But the whole making the whole mob farm out of slabs idea came from Gemini Tay um, on her Skyblock world. So thank you, Gemini Tay. What did I just say? 12, 13, 14, 17, 19, 21, 22. Does that need to be full blocks? Check my tutorial. At 22. Oh, thanks. 22. And from here, we're gonna start building out our troughs. We go out eight blocks, including this block. The tutorials did not tell you that, but the reason that you make it eight blocks and only eight blocks is because that's how far water travels when you put it down at the end and it goes down and flows over, doesn't flow into the thing and doesn't stop here. So, um, <clears throat> yes, that's why it's eight blocks, including this block. One. I'm really glad it's foggy and I can't see just how far up I am. Again, not afraid of heights, but it gets kind of annoying. I don't know if anyone else gets this. When I go up into high places and like look over the edge, especially if I'm not tethered or harnessed in, I get this feeling in the back of my neck. And it even happens, oh, it's happening right now. It happens even when I'm watching somebody encountering some sort of sheer drop. And it's really weird. I tried to describe the feeling to like friends and family and they didn't understand it at all. I love watching Skyblock series, but that's like the one thing that puts me over the edge. Ha 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 ha. Let's keep going. One. Let's start. I need to make an edge going around that, but for that I need the polished andesite, so let's go get my polished andesite. Do it like that, because that's how all the tutorials told me to. Have I mentioned how different this is from building in creative? As it is, it's unnerving. Oh, look at this! I'm not even standing on a block! How do people do this all the time? How do people do hardcore worlds like this? This is terrifying! I thought about turning this into something pretty and fun to look at other than just mob farm. Then I realized that that's gonna take a lot more resources than I have. Maybe someday? Just maybe not on a day when it's my first time trying to do this. I'm kind of trying to make it pretty. All of two of the different stones that I'm using? I mean, fancy, right? At least I'm not making it out of spruce, because I can't. Not that I wanted to make it out of spruce. It's fine. Uh, that that act that was actually not a bit. I didn't I didn't want to make it with spruce. <laughs> I know that that came out bitter. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. That's the troughs done. I did the corners wrong. I think. I think these need to go down. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh shoot! It's fine. You know what? Let's grab some resources while we're down here. Might as well. Do I need to go get more wool so I can make more carpet so I can spider proof it? Do I want to make that trip? I'm gonna remind me to reset my spawn back at the build site. I'm not gonna remember and I'm gonna die again. Oh, I did it wrong. You know what? Minecraft, I don't want an armadillo. I don't want a crab. I want an item magnet that makes it so blocks don't do that. And so I don't fear for my life every time I'm trying to save a block from falling to its death. These blocks had lives. They could have been so much more than this. But here they are, falling to their deaths. I shouldn't have to experience this. Why, Minecraft? Why? No! Share me! Oh, shoot. Oh, that was close. Never let go, Jack! No! <laughs> it's still terrifying. Although, I will say, this still isn't nearly as anxiety-inducing as caving. When I'm caving, my hands will actually shake and make it really hard for me to react to things properly. And it gets so overwhelming that I'll have to like stop and breathe, drink water, and do all the things just to make sure I'm not <laughs> overwhelming myself too much. And now we get to do the big part. Oh. <laughs> I just realized mobs can definitely spawn up here. Should probably make sure that doesn't happen while I'm up here. That's kind of the whole point. Okay, that's the platforms sorted. Ooh, carpet. Yeah, I should probably do carpet while I'm thinking about it. Let's remember, so it's one, two, three, four. I think this is the pattern it's supposed to be. 
supposed to be. Did I do this right? Hold on. Oh no, it's too small. Hold on. Oh, I hope that's not true. I was so careful. Ish. Five, six, seven, eight? How? Wait, is it just this one section? Wait, how did I do that? I'm not that talented. How did this happen? Oh, that's why it was off when I tried to- Oh my word. Okay, well, let's fix this, I guess. just directionally challenged i'm also just challenged in general oh yep there goes on my carpet well maybe we can just have some spiders doink doink i'm up this is a test this is a fun part watch this oops that's less satisfying than i wanted it to be no, you can't take me. No, I'm not ready. Oh, actually, I'm not ready. Uh, okay, we're good. Once the trench is sorted. Still kind of annoyed about the carpet, but this will be a fun test. If I only spider-proof half of it, what what's it gonna do? I I am for one am very curious to see how this goes. Let's not even worry about it. Let's just put the roof on this thing. Lava pool! Okay, that's good to know. I realized that I could make this out of slabs, but pretty much all the tutorials that I found said to just make it out of full blocks, which doesn't make total sense to me because mobs can't spawn on slabs, right? So why wouldn't you make it out of slabs? I'm just following the tutorials. Please comment below if I'm doing anything in like the most wrong way possible. I genuinely do not know. Moody. I guess we have to get rid of these torches then. Okay, right, there we go. Rid of this. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, come on! Um. Uh, I've nobody reminded me. I didn't set my spot in there. Well, that's an exciting way to christen it. It's working though. Wait, it's working. <laughs> That's both infuriating and very exciting. Please don't be in too many pieces. Please don't be in too many pieces. Why does everything explode so easily? Ah, uh, why does everything explode so easily? Ah, uh, I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, okay, let's go look. I probably should have saw this coming. Considering it's my first mob farm, things would go this badly. I probably should have prepared for this. A lot more than I did. Okay, good. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Okay. Stop coming. Okay. A lot of it's still up here. Okay, that's not bad. Good. My hoppers are still here. It's definitely working. Oh, my you, you little villains, blew up my stone gutter. Oh, all oh, heck is gonna break loose as soon as I break open this thing. It is so loud. Everyone breathe. It's fine. We are okay. I was about to say nobody died, but I died, and now all of these things are about to die. Okay, are we okay now? Can I open the floodgates? Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. No, 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 no! You know what? That got rid of them fairly quickly, though. Oh, no! Anything fall? <laughs> all my stuff just comes raining down out of the sky. I won't learn, will I? This is awful. I'm so sorry to everyone watching this. It's kind of funny though, you gotta admit. I'm laughing because it hurts. <laughs> You're wearing my chest plate, sir. I'm shoot! Ah. I'm already a ghost. I shouldn't be dying this much. No, no, no more creepers. No! Shoot. Remember when I used to come down here on purpose? You know, if there weren't such thing as mobs in this game, I think I might actually be okay at it. You know, if this game didn't have, like, difficulty or obstacles, I'd be really good at it. I love how I keep rebuilding this, even though I know it's just gonna blow up again. Try to survive, shall we? Please don't kill me again. Okay. 
again. Hey. Okay. Okay. It's working. Go away! Go away! Okay. You know what? That works really well, actually. We have a working mob farm. <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> Let's never do that again. Okay. This will make it look kind of pretty. And maybe if these grow long enough, we can use these to get up and down. Wouldn't that be fun? Dude. Oh my gosh. 21 levels. Wow. Use your inside voices! Why is everyone so loud? <gasps> carrot! Oh my gosh, I saw a carrot! I got way too excited about that. I haven't seen carrots yet. I can grow carrots now. I'm almost at 32 levels already. This is insane. Well, oh. Oh, that's two witches. Get each other. Fight. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, okay. Or not. Oh, they're healing themselves. That's why. Okay, that's what that sound is. Witches drop sticks. That makes so much sense, actually. <laughs> That's so much fun. Okay, it's the next day. Yes, I did die. Yes, it blew up more than once. And yes, I have learned my lesson. And I'm gonna tell you as soon as we get back. Lesson number one. My driver's instructors were right. I do have a tendency to panic. Also, I opted for the water stream because it's not scaffolding and I'm sick of scaffolding at the moment. Plus, I think it's a smidge faster. I can't really tell. Lesson number two. If you're going to troubleshoot your mob spawner, light it up up at the top and turn it off before you do that because it will save you so much more time and so much more heartache from all of the dying and stuff that's going to occur. Definitely didn't take me over an hour and I still didn't fix it <laughs> last night. It was, it was a fun time. And finally, something that was not in any of the tutorials, mind you. Don't cross this yeah, turns out these blocks are gonna be very helpful because I was just like up in their business and apparently the creepers didn't like that. And you know what? Rightly so. You go, girl. Defend your space. But I, I really wish somebody would have told me. I really wish that was in the tutorials because I didn't know. Speaking of which, we're gonna do the exact same thing and let this thing loose. Time to make sure it's working again. Getting out. Okay, let's do this slowly. Okay, there we go. Now that I know all of that, I can now use this thing to get as many levels as I need. I just need to do it in front of the chest. Oh, I got a music disc. I'm gonna finish putting up a little bit more greenery because most of it exploded. And then I'll show you what it looks like from down low. Okay, uh, never mind. I guess we're gonna be going to show you now. Lesson number four. Wouldn't recommend putting this off until the next day because you will dream about it all of the night before. <laughs> I was trying to fix this thing in my sleep. It was a long night. But I'm gonna sit here until I get a little bit over 30 levels and then maybe put some fortune on a pickaxe and go diamond mining for a little bit. Also, yes, there is significantly less dirt than there was before because somebody kept blowing it up. That somebody was me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. I mean, you guys helped. Boo. I got a potato! I got a potato! <laughs> I don't have potatoes yet, obviously. <laughs> so this is very exciting. Oh, gorgeous. Get out of the way. Gorgeous. Us. I'm trying to enjoy the sunrise through my newly built mob farm. It's so pretty. Look at it. Look at it through the deathiness. Moment's over. Moment. You ruined it. You just... You moved. You dropped in and you wrecked it. You wrecked my moment. Get out. Okay, my sword broke, so I'm gonna say that's enough for today. Oh, what am I doing? I can just... Yeah, there we go. Ah, I almost hit the boat again. Well, I'm glad I put so much detail into it, because it looks great from down here. Okay, yeah, no, that looks cool. That looks cool. I'm really glad I added the greenery. That definitely helped. And I think the water is a nice touch. I have so many boats! This area is gonna be for our potatoes and... Our carrots. Yay. Where were we? Ah, yes. Enchanting. Let's do the diamond pickaxe. Because hopes and dreams. Efficiency four. Okay, that'd be really nice. Please? What else is it? 
Yes! Okay! That is really good! Thank you! Good job, Minecraft! Let's see what we can get on this. Fortune 3! You know what? Let's go for it! This is exactly what we need! The face I'm making IRL! That was a good pickaxe! I kind of want to do a sword. Should I do a sword? I don't really want to enchant my armor right now. I'm not wearing shoes! It's- it's already sad! Let's go for the sword. We're gonna go for the sword. The which I still need to make. Sharpness? Uh... You know what? I probably need the help in combat, so... We're gonna go with it. Just sharpness 3. Okay. And I don't have enough levels to enchant again. I guess that's all I get for the enchantments today, but those pickaxes, though... I think I'm ready to go strip mining now. I'm breaking 3 is also gonna be very handy on that. But with all that done, I think it's time to go for a little bit of a strip mine session. I tried. I tried. I think I broke Minecraft, but I tried. Come on, Soda Steve. We're gonna go see who the boss is around here. There's something really funny about this. I don't know. Here's some more. Is it just one? I think it's not. Okay, good. I don't know if I kept the clip, but I accidentally mined one one diamond ore with this pickaxe without fortune, but I did get ten diamonds out of the rest of that little bit. bit. Looks like it's just three. This is good. I'm actually finding diamonds at a better rate than I thought I would in a mesa. What do we get from this? Okay, nine. Nice. Nineteen diamonds. I'm okay with that. That is so much more than I had before. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make myself some diamond armor. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. Okay, I did it. <sighs> okay, let's just go all out. And you know what? It's meant to be because it, I don't have enough for a helmet. That is totally fine. I don't like helmets anyway. Okay, let's swap this out. Look at that. There we go. There, all of our old armor. I'm surprised we kept this for this long. There are so many times where I should have lost all of this. I think that's enough for today's episode. We'll end it all kitted out in our diamond armor here. We're like, um, well, almost, almost all kitted out. This is more than we started with. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for uh, sticking with me as I attempted to build the mob farm and failed multiple times. We still got it done. We got it done in the end. And now we have a great source of XP so I can enchant all this armor. Next episode, there are some more farms that I need to do. That's right. I'm going all out. I'm doing all the farms this series. I think we're going to try to make a lava farm so that I don't have to keep mining for coal and dying in the process. And I'm going to try to make an iron farm. Let me know down in the comments what else I should be doing in this series. If you have any questions, concerns, or cries of shock, make sure to leave those in the comments below. If this is your first time seeing my channel, then hello. Welcome to the chaos and thank you for watching. And if this isn't your first video of mine, please consider subscribing. It'd be very helpful to me to know would help me know that you're enjoying the content and thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed recently that is so amazing i am just so blessed by how many of you have joined the team so very happy about how this series is going over thank you again for watching and i will see you in the next episode of minecraft junk drawer goodbye all goodbye goodbye and boo because it's halloween so boo Ha 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 ha.